Yeah, so a little disclaimer before this video starts. I'm not an upholsterer. I'm just a guy on lockdown who had some spare time and thought I'd give this a bash. So in this video, we're going to look at um, putting new foam in a Recaro Sportster CS seat. Now, this is out my Clio 200 and it, the condition of it isn't too bad at the moment. I say that there's minimal wear marks on there. Nothing really much at all. But the foam underneath, it's absolutely gone. So obviously, every time everyone's getting in and out, the side is just taking the brunt of all the force so it won't be long until the material wears through if I don't do anything about it so I went online and got myself some a new foam base and a new foam back as well and then um, what I'm going to do is talk you through as I go along how to um, add new foam into the seat and hopefully um, save them from um, the, the junkers yard basically so first of all I'm going to take off these rear rests here if you pull the handle back on here you can see if this focuses there's two screws in there which are torx bits and there'll be two behind this cap as well and what this does is this will release this material around here and allow it to start taking this off okay so the torx bit size that you're going to need to take these out as a t10 taking this off pull it from this side put something in here something plastic and prise it off from this side because the hooks go in there and then it comes out okay so pull it from that side and they say there's two screws just sitting straight behind there and that just pull these out to remove now the clipped in this side yeah the clipped in that side just pull them on that side but then just gently tug at them and then they come out and then you can see what the clips look like and they go into there so yeah just get them that way in and it comes straight out so once they're off you need to start taking this back and form off and now how you do this is it's kind of just pushed in on this plastic bead you start at the bottom and you just work it out and that on here these things here are just velcroed in to keep the the stands in so if you slowly just take it away and make sure you don't pull the thing off and that but you can just basically peel it away and that's how the back comes off the form okay so now that you've peeled all the velcro you get to the first part where it's actually clipped into the foam okay so if i can save all this down you'll be able to see there's a red clip in there the foam looks like it's a plastic bar that goes into it yeah and there's three of them going along there now if i show you on this one oh, wait, there you go. Oh, that. that's a bit easier right so them clips there looks like they just push in yeah so zoom in so come on focus yes um so yeah it looks like the bars just push in so i'm thinking maybe just a gentle pull or maybe a small screwdriver in there just to just to ease it out nice and gentle and hopefully that will remove that right so that's eventually off and i'm not going to lie to you removing the clips down there was an absolute ball i had to go with it with a screwdriver like that and then just go in and just slowly and easy just um just to take these unclip the things it says it's like it sits in a channel so the clips sit behind that so all i can say is if you're going to do this just take your time on this section because it is an absolute ball ache right next up we'll go to the back of the chair right at the very bottom next where this felt is there's another plastic um bead that pushes in this gap here now it took us a while to find it but i found it but it's really difficult to get out to start off with but obviously like all the beads and that once it's there you can just pop it out and, and job's done Attach just back round to the front and you can pull start pulling the foam back away which brings the material with it and it looks like we're all done just a little clip here something at the back and i didn't unclip it all hopefully fingers crossed that's the material through and there's the seat off well the first bit anyways got that bit off got that bit to do so yeah crack on so now we're going to tackle the base um as again it's got it's got these plastic beads that run all the way around here so first off i'm gonna i'm gonna undo all these on both sides and then um we'll take it from there we'll see where we'll go 
found this starting off. I was trying to get them at the corners and up here first, but the start off, I got it from underneath here, and I've managed to pop it off the beach just from underneath in the middle, so this might be the way to go. I've noticed probably the best way to do it is that this seat rail here and the other one at the back, there's four. Yeah, I'll see if I can get the camera in properly. There, there's four Allen bolts like that, one in each corner, holding the same, holding this base on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unloosen all four of them bolts. So there's one there, one there, and one there, and then one there at the back. I'm going to undo them bolts, and hopefully this should lift this seat base off, which will make it. I won't need to take these plastics off. I'll lift the seat base off, and then I've got access to uh, to remove that at the back. I've been in the garage and got some more tools. So these Allen kit bolts. Oh man, I've got a video of this again. Ugh. Them Allen bolts there. Oh, they are five milli. So uh, yeah, five milli on there. We'll take all four of them off, and we'll see if that releases it. So now that the bolts are loosened, you can move the seat enough to get access to it. Now there's three cables totally underneath, so you can take them off. To be honest, doing them bolts. I can get access right around the back anyways to the base, so it just seems a bit extra work for no reason, you know, so I'm, I'll use trim tool just around there, pop this off, and then um, hopefully jobs are good, off it comes. At the very back of the base, you put, put your fingers in, pull, it's got one of them pushing clips like what we had on the bottom, on the back, and it goes around the side, it's got one of them pushing beads again, so you've got to unclip that, just work it out slowly, and... Uh, yeah, we've got to go from there. Right, sound, we've got that unclipped there now. As you can see, my phone's wrecked here, and that's what, that was just, just causing it to start rubbing through. Right where people get in, you know, just, just knackers it up. Anyways, so I've got that unclipped from the back, and you see it's got one of them pushing beads that just goes underneath. But now we've got these things again, these red clips, and that goes all the way along there. In fact, I'll show you on this new foam over here. So we've got the clips that go down here. And then we've got some Velcro, so one, two, three, four, four clips on each side. That holds it all in, and uh, yeah. And there we have it, one seat cover off. Right, what I'm going to do, I was thinking about how I'm going to tackle this, and I know I took the back off first and then the bottom, but with this having to tuck, with this having the bead on here and having to tuck it underneath and back round, I think if I pull the bottom first, it's going to interfere. <laughs> with actually being able to get the bead in. So I'm not gonna do it in the reverse order that I did it. I'm actually gonna do the back first and then follow on with the base. So let's get cracking and see how we get on. Well, that wasn't too bad getting that foam in. And um, probably the only difficult bit was at the bottom here, there's like a metal bar and there's a cutout, a recess in this. So you gotta make sure that the foam comes all the way up and nice and tight underneath there. So putting on the cover, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the bottom and work all the way up. What I'm going to do is, I'll get this bit here, put it underneath in the bead, and I'll get that pushed in at the back, in the recess where it goes. And then I'm going to work up and use, obviously, the, the beads that are on here to go on the, all these red clips to get this secure. And all the rest of it is just going to keep it nice and tight. Go, I'll work up, moving up from there, all the way and do all the Velcro bits up here, around the sides. And then finally what I'll do is, I'm going to come round with the bead, I'm going to loop it over and I'll work around and I'll work the bead in all the way around there and then hopefully, fingers crossed, that should be it. Right, we're getting there. Um, top tip when doing this though, when you start having to push these um, these clips, these um, these beads back in these red clips, like if you, instead of trying to push against it, put the seat lying down and then you will get a bit more force pushing in because um, they're not as difficult to get in as what they were to get out but phew, they're not easy like. So yeah, we've just done these bits here now, the two bits of velcro going in. Get your hand and just almost cup the seat away it needs to be and just like massage it in, starting off from the very bottom and then um, in terms of work it up and then just keep on just trying to push it in as best you can. Okay, so we're back, we're nearly almost looking like a seat. Um, fed in all the velcro bits around here, so that's all fine. That looped over nice and easy at the top. So we just need to go around, thread this bead back in, start getting it a bit tight, make sure the material's all going there. I say when I was working around it all, um, I was just making sure I try and keep it all the material as tight as possible. Um, looking back now, it's probably a bit pointless that I wash it because I've got like muck off my hands and that all over all over the black. So I'm gonna have to bloody um, clean that up again. But no, I'm happy with it so far. So yeah, just get the bead in, make sure it keeps it all tight, and um, hopefully we'll get it back. 
Okay, so that's the cover back on there now. Um, once you start it off the bead, it kind, the material kind of folds in on itself. And then you just push it in all the way around. But once you get start getting past this bit here, it just gets really easy when you're pushing it around. Really easy, just to thumb in place. Um, but yeah, go all nice and tight, all good. The only thing that I have to do now is to put in these two inserts back in. Put the grab handles and that. And then that should tighten all this bit up and pull that back in. And get rid of any bagginess that's going around there. But yeah, nearly there. Okay, so that's the seat cover back on. Well, the top bit anyways. Got these things in here, the, the plastic bits, all held in. Pretty happy with it. I see if I was probably doing this again, um, I probably wouldn't even bother cleaning the side bits. Like I could say, you're getting grubby, really grubby off just trying to manhandle the material back in. But I'll give it a spruce up after it's all been back, put back together. And then, um, see how it's even there. So yeah, just the base to go now, let's see how we get on with that. Right, so after all that, I've actually taken off the base anyways. Um, I couldn't get this line to sit properly. When I pulled this over the front, it was baggy here still. And I think it's because I took the, the back in first, so that I didn't get enough um, didn't get enough movement to get this done. So I'm gonna take this back off, I'm gonna do all the Velcro bits first, put them in the right order, and then I'm gonna hook everything around the outside and hopefully that'll give us a better fit. But yeah, um, as I said before, there was three clips I held these on. There was one there, one there, and one there. Um, you can just take them off and it came off pretty easy. I just used it. Um, a trim removal tool and, and it just pop straight off okay so i've got it all pushed on i've just got to flip the bead around all the way around the sides now to get everything nice and tight in but yeah i'm getting happy with this now it's starting to fit much nicer and um and yeah everything everything looks like it should also looks nice and tight there i see it. I've, I've got to pull that down there the bead underneath but yeah on the inside everything looks great so yeah definitely the way to do it so the, the best way to get at this and they push the bead in is to flip it upside down it's, uh, it's obviously really, really tight compared to what that what, uh, the other one was to get in because it's got loads more corners and uh, loads more angles and everything. So, yeah, just take your time. It's going to take you a while, but let's see if you've got a plastic trim remo uh, removal tool. This bit here really helps when you if you need to get get some angle and get it pushed in at the sides. It really does help, so I recommend uh, using one of these instead of knacking your thumbs all the time. But, uh, but, yeah, nearly getting there. Should be done soon. Oh, what a mission. But, hey, it's done. It's sorted. It's all in, it's nice and neat, it's tidy, it's not baggy anywhere, it's spot on, absolutely spot on, really happy with how that came out. Um, yeah, the last little bit around here to try and get everything pushed in, around where the bead is, oh my god, it was the worst, but yeah, it, um, it, came, it didn't come out too bad in the end, so just need to get that on there, and then, um, yeah, obviously, well, I've been manhandling it and that, it's... Uh, it's starting to look really grubby again. It was all nice and clean, but look at that, man. The state of that rubbish. So um, I'm going to have to get some um, stuff on that and get that cleaned up. But yeah, get that bolted on there, and then that's it, pretty much. And there we have it all back together. Done, dusted. Just need to um, give it a clean up, see what it looks like after that, and then hopefully it's ready to go back in the car. Right, there we go. All complete, all done. Really happy with how it came out. I say, once I cleaned it all up, it looks a thousand times better, it looks pretty much brand new, in all fairness. Um, yeah, all the materials good, all the bolsters are strong, nice and supported. Yeah, let's see, the slightest of slightest bit of wear on these seats. You can just start to see it, a little bit shiny, but nothing major. Until it's got 125,000 miles on these seats, so they've been really looked after all the time. But no, all in all. Absolutely spot on. They supported ball stars, nice and springy there, springy down there. Everything all in, everything all done. So yeah, that's how you um, dismantle a Recaro Sports CS seat. Um, put it back together, and job done. Don't well, get us wrong. There's probably a, a million ways to do it, and um, there's probably better ways than what I've done it, but. It's just been a trial and error video and just showing my experience of how we're going through and how I've done it. So um, hopefully if it helps anybody out there that's thinking about doing the same thing, then it served its purpose. Cheers everyone.